Hey everyone, it's Handyman Dan. Today we're going to be recycling. I'm going to take these bottles in and get my deposits back. Now normally I wouldn't let it get this large. In fact, I had no idea until Mrs. Rhonda come out and say, Hey Dan, you got to take the recycling, man. But with the quarantine, I've been cooped up in the trailer and I love to drink. I make no bones about it. I love to drink. And I think time sort of got away from me there for a while. I put in a lot of work, a lot of good work. But now I got to go take them all in, take them in, get my deposit back. Now, the bags you see here, that's Mrs. Ronnie's Avion and, and fruity drinks she likes. Got a few Coca-Colas in there from when Ronnie was here. But otherwise, that's all my work. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't proud of it. Now, I'm going to give you a few pointers here on recycling. Number one, you don't go to the machines. Machines are for little kids and bums. You take a load like this to machine, you're going to be real disappointed. That machine ain't going to be working. It's already going to be full. Or if you can put bottles in there, you'll get about 10% of the way through and then it's done. You're going to be hunting for more machines. You want to take a load like this right to the center. Take it right to a recycling center. You put them in big bins, big baskets, all this shit. You'll be done. Now when you go to the main center, you don't want to go on a Monday because you get the weekend bar traffic coming in. Drop off their loads. You don't want to go on a Friday either. You got bar traffic again. Everything from the weekday they're dropping off. Now everybody in the recycling community knows if you got rain in the forecast, you definitely don't want to go on that day because everybody's coming out then. That's like prime time. Everybody go before the rain. So you got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday you can go. Today happens to be Thursday. We're going to get our money back. Now that's your money they take. When you buy beer, when you buy bottles, anything recyclable, they take your money first. It's up to you to go get it back. So if you want to just give them your money, feel free. But I'm going to go get my money back. All right, let's load up. It's like a little game of Tetris here. You want to pack everything in. Still couldn't get it all. But I'm close. Probably got about 15% left. Just a little game of Tetris. I'm gonna pack it all in. If I could, I'd, I'd put beer where I sit and just sit right on top. Let's go get our money. All right, we're here. That's where the pros come. You'll know pros when you see them. We might have one over here now. Oh, that looks like a pro right there. That's a pro. See that? Pros come in, they got a truck. They're loaded down with huge bags in the back and underneath them bags, they got a huge load of cardboard. We're gonna be bumping shoulders with the pros here. So I'm gonna do a little less talking, a little more working. It's an honor. I don't want to burn it. So let's get all loaded up here, get our money back.
Don't be too near. Really? Yeah. Well, that was embarrassing. I had no idea I couldn't film in there. They ain't got no signs up or anything. But I mean, they got every ride. It's private property. I just didn't think it was going to be no problem. But they did watch me leave. Had my tail tucked between my legs there, taking the tripod, fumbling around. And I'm pulling out. They're all staring at me. I'll tell you what, though, it's a good thing Ronnie wasn't there. And I mean that for Ronnie's sake. Ronnie would start mouthing off at them, telling them their business. Next thing you know, they'd be recycling Ronnie, dumping him in one of them trash heaps they got in there. Never hear from him again. And I saw them boys at work. They ain't messing around. Ronnie disappear in there. They ain't saying a word. Anyhow, let's see how much I pulled in. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I got 70 cents in my pocket. $76, 70 cents. Now that's money they already had on deposit. I had to go get it back. So if you're going to throw your bottles out, you're just throwing money right down the drain. You may as well give me the bottles. I'll take them in. I ain't got no problem getting dirty. So I'm going to do what comes natural to me now. I'm going to go buy more beer. This is Handyman Dan signing off. Sayonara.